Samsung S9 data recovery. So good board, good housing, bad board, customer board. This is where we want to recover data from. To get started, let's remove this board. And put it aside for a moment. Uh, so we do have signs of water damage here and here and here and there. So let's clean this up first. So let's pop the board in. Just maybe it'll turn on, but very likely it will not. What the hell is going on here? Oh no. Oh hell no! This is in fact an S9 Plus board, not S9. So I need to go grab a different housing. All right, trolled once again. I'm gonna put this one away and grab an S9 Plus to replace it. I will be right back. A few minutes later. Okay, got one here. All right, let me go grab that flex and we will continue. Okay then. So let's make sure this housing works. So we have our known good board. Okay. Good. Let's let it charge up for a bit. Okay, so the battery is super dead. But at least we know the screen works and it should turn on. So let's compare to our customer board. Let's see what we get with our customer board plugged in. Charging symbol, good battery in this thing is super dead yeah all right this battery should have some juice all right prompt maybe this battery does not have juice yeah it does it does so why aren't we prompting to boot what is trolling us right now Okay, right, something's up with our connector here. So this is a G965F. Let's switch to our block diagram. Let's see if we can get a better idea of what's going on here. G965F. Here is the connector. So it does appear that something's gone absolutely horribly wrong with the power button connector on this board. Yeah. So let's clean this up. So we do need to go find a donor board that matches this revision because the other ones I have here do not. So I'm gonna go check in the back and see if I can find a, a donor board that matches this revision G965F. And I'll be right back. 15 minutes later. I can't seem to find any at the moment, so let's see what we can do without it. Right now, we have the customer board, and there's a problem with the uh, power button. Right, if we look back at block diagram, uh, this goes there. I'm kind of flying blind. What happened? All right, so knock that capacitor. I'm just gonna expose the shield and it looks like it's in pretty rough shape this could explain the missing reading that we were getting so let's measure continuity across those two points so we do have continuity there and we do have continuity there which is good so it looks like we just I'm missing this connection, but I don't have a donor to compare it to. I'm inclined to run a jumper between those two points. 
But I think it will do the job. Just verify continuity between there and there. Yep. And it worked. Can we make it to the operating system? Looks like we're in. <laughs> we got the phone turning on and we have a path to data we can recover everything and let the customer know this was a successful data recovery we'll run a recap um, the phone came in with water damage the board was dead uh, we have our known good frame here that we used and our known good board this guy so we knew that this frame worked with this board but not with this one after we cleaned all the visible corrosion, it was uh, charging or trying to charge, uh, but even with a good battery that we knew had juice, um, prompting to boot, uh, didn't do anything. We tested the power button in the frame, it was good. So then we checked the actual power button connector on the board, and there was some issues there. When prompting to boot, uh, these two connectors get uh, connected together and it prompts the uh, device to turn on but there was a problem here there's some corrosion and it looked like a missing component uh, we didn't have a donor board of the same revision to compare that would have made things a little easier so we were a little bit blind but we assumed that missing connection there was a resistor maybe a zero ohm anyway it's hard to say but uh, we used our best guess and connected these two points together and made sure we had continuity here and here. So following that procedure, we're able to turn the phone on and we will be able to recover all of the customer's data. If you're new to the channel and you learned something in today's video, please like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.